And when I got down there, then that's when Dennis was coming up, and then, you know, a bunch of other people coming across. We heard a horn honking. This guy was honking, honking the horn. We thought that it had a short. So we went over there, and the guy got on top of this cab, and we asked him, you know, are you okay? He says, I can't swim. So that's when Dennis went ahead and went in, and I went in just waist deep. After that, Dennis uh, got him out from the truck, and then we got him there, and then we went further down to go check some more drivers, and we got told about seven of them out. About seven people all told. Now, Dennis, uh, you were down there. Uh, you actually went up. You swam up to one of those trucks over there. Is that right? Yes, I, I swam up to probably about six of them uh, to those trucks. One of them was on fire on the inside, and I wanted to make sure no one was uh, inside that one. I uh, swam up to it, uh, opened the door, uh, splashed the flames down a little bit, looked around the cab and the sleeper and no one was in there and uh, went on to the next truck um, next we know that that truck that you see behind here it was uh, totally melting the cab down to the water's level as we ended up getting uh, about seven people out of there now you were telling me that you were able to see what started that fire in there what was it it was a uh, short in the cb the uh, cb uh, i flashed it out and then it arced right back up again but the cb started the fire so all told, you, you, you basically, a lot of these guys didn't know how to swim yet. You used a rope of some kind or what? Yes, on a couple of them we used a rope. Um, one we had to coax down. He was on the on his trailer and wouldn't come down. Uh, I was in the water, and uh, they tied a rope around his waist, and we, we finally coaxed him to it's jump Mark out. Mark Rye back at I-10, and T.C. Jester this time, Mark? Yeah, T.C. Jester. We're told by witnesses that around 1 o'clock this morning, that gentleman was trying to get out of his cab when it caught fire. Apparently the CB equipment, uh, some of the electronics got wet or sparked out. Anyway, he had water below him and fire above, and he was, uh, he was able to get out, but you can tell that the top of his truck there is completely scorched. It must have been a, a heck of a scene to see out here, and one of the guys that was here is this gentleman, Dennis, who a lot of people are crediting for helping to save uh, some of the truckers that were out there. What time did all this happen? How fast did the water come up? About midnight, the water uh, came up very fast and stalled the, the uh, smaller vehicles. About an hour later, 1 o'clock, 1.30, the larger vehicles began to stall like the 18-wheelers. Yeah. The first one was the toughest. He wanted to bring everybody down with him, but uh, we, all, we all made it across, and everybody's okay. Um, and experts will tell us that's a danger with somebody that doesn't know how to swim. They will try to push you will, down to get themselves down. up. Yeah, that's okay. Definitely. Well, are you okay, and was everybody else all right? As far as we know, we... Two drivers stranded, one unable to swim. Rescuers on the banks. Strange, after a little adjusting and a few minutes of coaxing, the second trucker, roped securely around his waist, finally hit the water too. 